Welcome back, Chicago. You're listening to the show all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. You're listening to Get Down to Business. I'm your host, Shalom Klein. You can check out our podcast, ShalomKlein.com. Follow me on Twitter, at Shalom Klein. We are on Facebook Live right now. Uh, you can check that out, Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein. So I'm thrilled. I was actually very excited by uh, by uh, our next guest, David Stolman, the Lake County treasurer and a very dear friend, uh, somebody who has done so, so much for community. Uh, David, welcome to the program. Well, Shalom, this is an absolute honor and a privilege, so it's wonderful speaking with you and Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. And David, you are one of the few people that I know that can uh, that has been cloned and can be in multiple places at the same time. Because while <laughs> I have you here on, on the air, I know that you are involved in community efforts at the same time. So I very, very much appreciate you uh, taking the time to at least have one of the... Uh, one of the uh, one of the angles of David Solman uh, joining me here on Get Down to Business. So, David, um, Absolute, my pleasure. My so, pleasure. David, uh, you you've played a number of different roles in Lake County. You yes, sir. you have been yes. the Lake County Chairman, but right now you're serving as Lake County Treasurer. Uh, tell us Correct. a little bit about what the Treasurer does in uh, in Lake County. The Treasurer, great, great, great. The Treasurer's responsibility is really statutory. So, in essence, we compile about 270,000 individual tax bills. We don't set, we don't determine the taxes, but we get uh, figures from basically the township assessors. It's a little bit different in Lake County because we have townships and in Cook County, you get your assessor makes the determination. Uh, they look at the, all the taxing bodies in the district. Here we have townships. So the township assessors will actually go out and look at the property and they will see and compile all the different taxing bodies, your schools, your villages, your park districts, your library boards, uh, all of them will be comprised on your tax bill. And the assessor will value your property, so that's your sliver of the pie, if you will. We get all of that tax, we get all of that computation, and we put together a tax bill. We send it out. We only mail out one bill to make it more economical, but we have two different installments. This year it was uh, June 6th and September 6th. Um, we, so we send out approximately 270,000 individual bills. We collect the money. We invest the money quickly. We invest the money wisely. And then we disperse the money to the various taxing bodies, the schools, the villages, the park districts, all in proportion to how the tax money comes in. Um, we manage about close to $2.5 billion worth of taxpayer money. And we've made millions of dollars worth of investments, and those are passed on to the taxing bodies, which is great. David, if there's one word that uh, that ha- has been used to describe you, there's uh, there's a, a word transparency, because that's something I know that you have championed through your office, um, being transparent uh, in every step of the way. And that's not only in your role as treasurer, but you've been on the Lake County Board, you've been uh, board chairman. What? Uh, why is transparency important to you, and what are some of your uh, greatest well, accomplishments uh, during your uh, during your most recent term. Let me just tell you basically what transparency involves. So when I was county board chairman, one of the first things I wanted to do was to get the actual county checkbook online, so that people could see where their money is being spent and what where it's going for. Um, with regard to the to the treasurer's office, it's so important to have transparency because you want to see where your tax dollars are going. So even not only have I revised the tax bill explaining everything we have a we've completely modernized the website to make it easy and transparent and, and navigable it's a, you, you can be a, a, a kindergartner and actually have fun on our website uh, to seeing what's going on but the reality is we even came up with an app this year that will actually be like google earth it'll you put it fill in your app your either address or your pin number which is the permit your property index number and it'll zoom down to your property so that you'll see your property, your subdivision. You can click on your particular property. It'll give you a, a breakdown with regard to all of your different taxing bodies. And then you click on that, and that will actually take you to the website for the schools, for the villages, for the park districts. We wanted to make sure that people knew where their money was being spent and where and who's really accountable for everything. When you look at our taxes, about 70% go to the schools. And then the rest are all comprised between the park district and the villages and the, and the library districts. The county is only seven cents on the dollar. 
and always has been probably one of the most, you know, reasonable amounts. You get this courts, you get transportation, you get the sheriffs. Everything is comprised in the county. And you're transparent about how those pennies are are, are being yes, spent, yes, um, which is which yes, is really sir. important. So, David, what are the uh, what are your accomplishments? Um, that you are most proud of championing. I know that you are very involved in economic development, which is something that uh, is very important well, to me and to many of our uh, entrepreneurial listeners. Yes, economic development is extraordinarily important because without that, you don't have growth. And the growth in the sense being that if you have economic development, it will open up corridors for business. For business. So in essence, one of the things that I started when I first got elected, and I was elected first as a county commissioner, and then ultimately moved into roles of leadership. I was chairman of the county finance. I was vice chairman of the county board. And then, as you as you accurately said, I was county board chairman for a number of years. One of the things that I first did was get involved, and we started something called um, the County Partners, which is a public-private partnership. It is really the basis of many throughout the world of uh, public-private partnerships where uh, you have a public entity, you have private endeavors getting together for economic development. What we try to do is retain businesses and also encourage new businesses to move to Lake County because without the growth, you don't have you, – look, growth will make taxes for the homeowner reduced. So the more businesses that move in, the less responsibility will be, less onus will be on the, the, the backs of the, of the homeowners. And in essence, one of the things that we first did was we moved what was the economic development department of the county into something that was a not-for-profit. It was a 501c3 that was called Lake County Partners that actually is a public-private endeavor, and it's been very, very successful over these years. It has, and I've so been privileged been, to, been uh, to, to work closely encourage. with you and with, uh, with Lake County Partners and many of the projects yes, that you've champion. So, David, we are running out of time, and I know that the best way for people to learn more about you and your policy initiatives that you've already put in place, and I know, I hope that uh, that that uh, our listeners uh, that live in Lake County will give you another opportunity to continue your service um, by oh, putting you on the ballot. Thank you. And that website is davidstolman.com, um, exactly yes, as it sounds. But um, really, really quick as we uh, as we head to break, what is the what what's uh, so one of your goals in your next term? Well, the goals really are to encourage. We're, we're in the process right now of converting. We have 16-year-old software. I don't know if you've ever been through a software conversion. <laughs> it's horrible. It's it's incredible. You're working three times the same job. And in essence, what we're hopeful of, do, hopeful of doing is getting it implemented this year. We did a early prepayment. We had 23,000 people that came in at the end of December of 2017. And we, we didn't have a computer system to handle it. We were ill-equipped to handle it. We had to come up with and devise our own David, computer. you've done fantastic uh, work. We're going to have to leave it there. We're cutting to break. Okay. DavidStolman.com. Learn more about his work. Thanks for joining us.